Are you sick of your H3 smelling like swamp? Well, I am too, and today I'll be outlining how I modified my sunroof drain system to prevent cesspools from forming in the floorboards. Wow, what a cool mud. Let's get to it. One of the common H3 issues is a poorly designed sunroof drain system. The leaking occurs when the debris inevitably accumulates in the drain fitting exiting through the firewall. Once these fittings become clogged, which doesn't take much time at all if you drive your Hummer outside, fluid will either drain too slowly or won't drain at all, leading to water building up around the sunroof seal and ultimately causing the famous drip from the OnStar mic on the headliner. As you can see, my H3 has about an inch of standing water in the floorboards. It also smells absolutely horrendous, which is actually what caught my attention. To start this mod, first we need to locate the drain fittings in the firewall. Alright, so I'm on the driver's side. Pop this here off. Now remove the Phillips head screw that's in there. Oh, this should pop off. And this here is the drain tube that goes in under here. Tried pretty hard to get a view of that thing on camera, but I just have to reach up here through a bunch of wires. Feel around while looking at that top tube until I found something that felt like it. Pull that plug out. This is what we're looking for. I got that pulled out. Be sure to have a little drain pan or something because there's going to be fluid in there most likely. I say crap that was in mine. We pop this out because there's no real access point from the bottom. So I'll use a flathead to work these out. Alright, got those two out. gray tube going in somewhere over there so that's where I'll be reaching wow that smells foul that is absolutely disgusting but uh, it broke loose inside so now all this shit in there is covered in water stinky water both of these fittings are difficult to reach and can be tough to find so be persistent be prepared and it's best to have a catch pan ready to go with the fittings removed, I'll bring them over to my hot wire saw so I can start this mod. Now at this point, you can take a drill bit and drill out those little flaps in there or whatever, um, or melt them out. I'm going to be doing a different method than a drill bit. I'm going to be using a hot wire saw because it'll give me an extremely clean cut and a very controlled cut on the inside. So. That's my method. I'll, I'll show you that here. Alright, so I fed the resistance wire through the middle of this, the wire saw off. Then I'll turn it on and slowly melt away the, the material I'm not wanting. With the hot wire saw, I'm effectively widening the interior of the drain, which will prevent the clog from forming in the first place. Cut pretty smooth in there, nice and spacious. With these protrusions removed, the debris should more freely flow through the system, preventing future clogs. Let's reinstall these bad boys and hopefully never have to worry about this issue again. I'll slip this back on there. I realize what those are for now, actually. It's so that when you insert this tube, it only goes halfway. So now, this tube can theoretically push all the way through, and it wouldn't be able to be installed. So I'm sure it's just like a quick installation sort of guide thing, not thinking about the long term. Interesting. And at this step, if you wanted to open up your sunroof, and in that overflow pan, just pour in a little bit of water and wash out whatever was in there into a bucket or onto the ground or whatever. I'm going to pop mine back in. I'm going up from underneath again. And you'll be able to feel it snap when it's in there. And you really cannot see it. But
that one cut nicely. Ready to reinstall in there. This one's extremely difficult to get in, so I've got it slid on my pinky with some little bit of grease on there. Shoop, and it's right in. Nice. That uh, hurt my pinky a little bit, but it went in like instantly, so that's good. I can be sure to connect the drain back into that nipple. Again, just feeling around for it. There we go. And I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that, because that is just horrendous. I am just insulted by that. If you're in a similar position to me, you're probably wondering how on earth am I gonna get all this water out from my floorboards. I've parked the vehicle at a slant to let it pool to one side, and I've used a fluid transfer pump to pump the water out of the floorboards, and you can see how nasty this water is. That is so gross. And with the majority of the water removed from the floorboards, I'll just let it keep airing out and getting hot and hopefully it'll dry up and start smelling a little better in there. After filming this video, a friend and subscriber, Jesse, informed me of two more drain fittings that are actually to the rear of the vehicle. I personally did not clean these drains because I was unaware of them. But if you are still having water intrusion issues, I would certainly check those rear ones out. I think there's a few videos on YouTube with those rear fittings, so I'll try to link those for you guys. Shout out to Jesse for the helpful tip. Shout out to my support on Patreon. Your contributions are greatly appreciated and helps me provide all this juicy H3 content. See you next time.